Hello and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're going to go through a lesson on scatter plots and best fitting lines, and we're also going to do some practice around scatter plots and best fitting lines. Okay, what's a scatter plot? What's a best fitting line? Well, a lot of times in real life, we don't get a perfect straight line when we have some type of independent variable and some type of output. So a lot of times you go into the field, you measure something, and when you take the measurements, the X's and the Y's aren't always creating or don't always create that perfect straight line that we're looking for. What they do create, in a lot of cases, are a bunch of uh, points that are roughly arranged in what's called a scatter plot. So these are points or actual occurrences of some type of experiment that we do where we have an X value input and a Y value output. A scatter plot is just a graph of all these data pairs, X and Y. So we say that there is a positive correlation if y increases as x increases. So I see as x increases, y is also increasing. All right, so I'm getting, I have a positive slope. And as y increases, x increases, I say that there is a positive correlation uh, for all the scatterplot data pairs. All right, now if as x increases, y decreases, then I say that the correlation is negative. So in this case, it's positive. In this case, it's negative. There seems to be a correlation as x increases uh, in number two. Y increases in this case as x increases, y decreases. So when, again, x increases and y increases, we call it positive. When x increases and y decreases, we say that it has a negative correlation. Now, sometimes you're just going to get a bunch of random dots and there is gonna, it's going to evidence that there's really no correlation between an increase in y, an increase in x, and either an increase or decrease in y. So we can see we have uh, points all over the place. They're scattered over the entire graph. They don't form any real shape. They're just a blob of points. Uh, and we can say that in that case, there's no pattern to the data. It has no correlation. All right. So scientists uh, develop something that's called, and mathematicians develop something that's called a correlation coefficient. And that correlation coefficient uh, usually is denoted by the small lowercase letter r. And it defines how well uh, the scatter plot fits a straight line, really. And if the scatter plot is pretty much right on the line, then we'll see an r value of 1. If the scatter plot is pretty much right on this line, where we have a negative correlation, then your R value is going to be negative 1. Where you have really no correlation in the scatter plot, then your R value is going to be 0. So your R value can be anywhere between negative 1 and 1, where negative 1 means there is a strong uh, correlation negatively, which means that as x moves to the right, y goes down. And when it's positive 1, it means there's a strong correlation as x increases, y increases. And our value of 0 means there's really no correlation in the scatter plot. All right, so what's called a best fitting line is a line that runs pretty much through the center of whatever scatter plot we have. So when you figure out your correlation coefficient, typically what you'll do is you'll attach a best fitting line. And then based on the best fitting line, uh, you will determine what your r value is. So in this case, r is equal to 0.8. And um, that means that there is a strong correlation, positive correlation in the data. As x increases, y is generally increasing as well. So let's take on a couple practice problems. All right, so four problems again for the following multiple, multiple choice questions. You have to determine whether or not x and y have a positive correlation, a negative correlation no correlation or cannot determine from the given data. So we can see in number one, it looks like there's a strong correlation, a positive correlation, because as x increases, the y values also increase. So we have a slope of best fitting line that's moving up and to the right. So I'm going to say that number one, is the answer to number one is going to be A. Answer number two, looks like we have a bunch of points that are just scattered like a Jackson Pollock uh, painting over uh, the graph. So I'm going to say they have no correlation. There's really, I can't say it's moving up and to the right or down to the right. 
Um, there's really no correlation between the x and y values, so I'm going to say this one is c. Okay, uh, number three. I have I start in order, moving from uh, lowest to highest. As x increases, I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Y, it looks like decreases. 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1. Now, it might not be a correlation coefficient of 1, but it looks like I've got a negative correlation because as x increases, y is going to decrease. So I'm going to say in this case, I've got uh, answer B. Next one is, I have number 4. X is increasing. As x increasing, x increases. First, I have y decreasing, and then it increases, and then it decreases again. So it looks like there's really no relationship between the x and y, the x input and the y output. So I'm going to say that uh, the answer to this is C, that x and y have no correlation. So again, they have no correlation because as x increases, y sometimes increases, y sometimes decreases, y sometimes stays flat. There's really no trend we can see in the output from a rise in the input.